What's up guys, welcome back to the show, welcome back to my main account, I got one one interesting uh, video for you today, at least I'm pretty sure it's gonna be pretty interesting, uh, it's definitely gonna be interesting for myself, and um, let's just cut the chase without any further ado, here's what I got in my inventory, besides uh, all the junk that you may see right there, I got this, an ego potion. I know, right? I, I'm not even supposed to kill Leviaths and still I, uh, I, I've managed to get my hands on it. I'm gonna exp I, I got surprised. I didn't expect to, uh, to get this. I'm gonna explain how I got my hands on it. Um, well, I guess I can go to explaining right now. I was farming Uberton, right? Geodopsite, because I need Crystalline Core's 40 brand new Paragon update. And as you can, uh, as you can probably tell by my uh, Paragon level bar, I'm on level 8 Paragon, which means I've been farming quite a while, considering the previous episode I was on level 1, right? <laughs> Right, right, so, so I was saying, um, I was farming uh, Geo Topside Huberton, doing my thing, slaying monsters left and right, enjoying my newly found movement speed, which, oh my god, I've discovered some interesting things I can do with it. Um, this speedometer right here is gonna be uh, used in a future video, it's so useful. Um, yeah, so I was farming there, when suddenly I got a sneak invite. I didn't get to read where it's um, where it was inviting me to. I just clicked on on the left button because I for for some reason I thought that that's the no. I don't want to go anywhere. But that was the yes. That was the accept button, and so I got teleported into a Leviath layer. I know, right? And people were like fighting the uh, huge boss in there. I didn't have any business in there, I just wanted to continue farming for my crystalline cores, so I uh, immediately typed in respawn and went on to some more dungeons, right? I uh, didn't spend too much time in there. Why, you may be asking, why wouldn't I stay for a Leviath? Well, the thing is, and like most things I do in Shove, I do them solo. If I can't solo a Leviath, if the, if the game forces me to team up, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, I know, right? Weird. But anyway, so, <laughs> so I've left immediately, um, continued farming dungeons and then took a break in my uh, in my club world to basically loot collect all the crap I've gotten from farming all those dungeons. Long story short, while looking into my loot, uh, into my inventory that is, I've stumbled upon this and here we are today. The Ego Potion. <laughs> Which is fairly interesting. So, I'm not entirely sure how you get these. I know they're related to the um, Leviath bosses. Does this mean, does having this potion in my inventory here mean I've killed a Leviath? Is that a thing? Oh my god, don't tell- oh my god. It's from the first batch, there you go. And seeing this I just realized it may be a novelty for me, but it's probably not a novelty for uh, most of you who are probably uh, just killing these. So I actually can't- man, I haven't even- I don't remember even dealing damage to it. But my my presence there, I guess, counted, and so I'm no longer on zero Leviath killed. I am on one out of one. Yeah, so I guess I unlocked this. I got 25 cubits, the eco potion in question, and the badge itself, Leviathan slain. Okay, sure, 20, ma 20 mastery points too, nice, I guess. And if I'm not mistaken, there's also, there's also, um, there is also another way, let me pronounce it uh, right, there is also another way of getting this ego potion, and I think that's through... Hmm... Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. So if you delve into, uh, well, delves, if you do delves, um, and take part in the uh, deepest delve contest, well, apparently only on, only on private mode. You stand the chance of getting an ego potion if your rank is under 16. Under 16, that is. Good to know. So it's quite... Well, besides the uh, Leviath badges, this is quite rare to get. Ego potion. So let's check it out. What exactly does he do? I don't know, because this is, this is definitely going to be the first time I'm using it. This is also the first time I'm seeing it in my inventory, so I, I have no clue what to expect. Besides the description, which says, increases the size of your head for one minute. And apparently also the case. Okay, I didn't know that. This will trigger in two days, three hours and three minutes... I think that's the weekly reset. Yeah, that's gotta be the uh, that's gotta be the uh, weekly reset. Anyway, only one thing is left for us today, and that is click on this 
and uh, see what's gonna happen. Increases the size of your head for one minute. Sounds pretty nice. Sounds pretty appealing. So click. Oh my! Oh my God! Don't no. No way. Oh my God! It's so funny. Are you kidding me? I I expected my head to be increased by but not by this margin. <laughs> this was increased a lot. Damn! So I, I only got one minute to enjoy this. This is unfortunate. Let me do as much as I can. Let's, let's do a pose. Let's film the pose. Oh my god, look at that. It's so silly. This is so silly. Let's also jump on a Ganda and do. I don't think I have enough time to um, to climb anything. Oh my god, epic pose. This is insane. I would have selected a more suitable background, uh, like something I can crop in Photoshop or something, but I don't think I have the time. It's likely uh, by the time I get to to demount my uh, my Ganda, uh, I will lose this ability. Oh come on! Oh, oh, why is it only one minute? Oh my God! No, no! <laughs> we have lost the ability. That, that was the coolest thing I've seen. Ego head makes sense. Definitely goes in line with the uh, advertisement on the potion. Um, <laughs> makes your head enormous. Well, f for the 60 seconds that, uh, well, the effect was in uh, in place, it was pretty fun. <laughs> it was definitely pretty fun. I would have tried some uh, something more with it. It's a bit shame you only last for a minute. At least we did uh, some poses and some epic poses with a mount. What else could I have tried? I don't know. It's probably got no collision. So I don't think it's gonna be affecting my, uh, my class collision, so I, I think I can still enter through small tunnels and uh, and things like that then okay <laughs> well that was it that's the uh, that's the ego potion let me know if you i don't know should i go for another what should i do if i was to go well i can get one uh, i get i can uh, surely get another one fairly easily right <laughs> by doing uh, this so there's gonna be another one at 10 10 of those bosses killed okay Hmm. <laughs> but it's only 60 seconds, you can't do much with it, you can't do anything at all. What have you done with your uh, with your ego potion? You, pro you probably clicked on it and it vanished away after 60 seconds, you can't do much at all. Even though it's so so cool to look at. Oh, I would have tried flying a dragon or just flying around with that head. I would have, um, would have definitely been curious to see what it looks like. Or probably silly. <laughs> It probably would have looked silly. Anyway, guys, this is definitely gonna be it for uh, today. That's the Ego Potion um, I, I, I've managed to play with. First time for that matter. First time I get my hands on, uh, on an Ego Potion. Interesting experience for sure. Let me know what you've done with uh, your Ego Potion. If, you, uh, if you've also managed to get your hands on uh, such, a, uh, such an object. And uh, yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching this video, remember to like it if you enjoyed it, dislike it if you did not, and don't forget to leave a comment saying, well, anything that crosses your mind. This will help the channel greatly, I'll see you on the next one.